Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Los Scandalous Bulls go up against the Philadelphia Evils. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The 10. He could go. are hated even more than kickers <laughs> well there's your answer bricks second and three defense has enough of this bs and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee way to go guys and it's first and ten. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it does. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> and it's first and ten. gain on that one like when bricks his mom decided to move back in with us second down and two oh, with the brain scrambler third down and a pussy here caught for the first down First down and six. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Bam! 
Well, say good night to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. That was equal parts great run and bad defense. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. I guess when the coach said the offense was gonna be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. <laughs> Second down and nine. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Third down and long. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object the offense is down to their last running back no rest for the weary the last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die Second down and long. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Graham and a ball didn't fall down. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. It's first.
first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. time when it's your time to go it's your time and that'll bring up third down and seven and the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick the only thing the QB can do now is run for his life but die Looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker room? And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Hey, Chris, what a finish. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Either way, they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. Second down in a very lot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. So this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Quarterback just he can go all the way. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same car. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And 
It's first and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the... Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. First and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turkey. That's why you must have some turkey skin wrapping on his back side from that bad brownie he had last year. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. They're going for two points. for the conversion. Am I the only one here who has a sudden urge to eat lobster? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Some new ones. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He is fighting for every yard. You know, comments after last week's game were blowing up on Shitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. And I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the... And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And 
Giants, first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. First down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing one. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and seven. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> and so, that's the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the top. And he's off to the races. First down and nine. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player, and he runs it in for the touchdown. I can't count the women on the stands that shrieking in terror or cheering. <laughs> it's an alien, Briggs. I'm sure he loves both equally. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. 
It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And the MFL and winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. You can't. I don't know. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. First and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? He's got a receiver breaking open and unleashed a brutal head on collision. Not only does he drop the ball, but someone's going to be taking a long nap after that hit. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, what a brutal hit! Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Second down in a lot. And the quarterback throws another. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. 
He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this cue. Boom, dead and down. You delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback, oh man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I gotta see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in, freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Along the jungle. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just... And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Second down and six. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And 
It's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. First and ten. down and the punter is warming up if you don't think you can make the interception batting it down is the next best thing great advice grim that receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you i wasn't talking to yeah never mind yes brick he will apparently the punter for the day is being played by my kid's sister they let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense And it's first and ten. Void Rage, how do you like your brains? Scrambled up. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he breaks away, and he's off to the races. That's his dance? My floor was in vacuum, but had better moves. I see you my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make a dinner and buy a perfume, you pervert. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights.
Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And that'll bring up second and one. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. He'd oh, man, Brooks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they... Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. First and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. He could go all the way. He's in the 
20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem. He scored. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? Hey, prop it up your chair so you can beat the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. I had this guy on my fantasy team. It looks like we've got a penalty here. <laughs> First down in a mile. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down in a mile. He broke free and has open field in front of him. What is this, 80s wrestling? Hey, man, I was on the panel now. You know what happened? <laughs> the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that's another turn. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Second down and more than the QB would like. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. First down and one. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And that'll bring up second and one. It's a zap attack. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. And that'll bring up third and one. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. And when your kicker is dead, you've got to bring a reserve off the bench to try it. I would not want to be him, Grim. Not at all. Straight through the uprights. I think I shown my cause. 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? Oh, he's going berserk. The ball and the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, with a punishing hit. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. He could go all the way. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. I think I showed my card. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ah, man, what a hit that was. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Second down and ten. I hope you covered your ears. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Yo, seriously, man. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he's off to the races. First and ten. Murphy Brown! What? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL.
And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. <laughs> Third down and long. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. I think I showed my car. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Okay. Kapow! Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. Get on And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, who don't do that? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Look at Mike's head! He'll be okay! And it's first and ten. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Second down and a lot. <laughs> a timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Hey, the defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. And they'll line up for the punt here.
Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Uh, uh, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up, too? At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Hey, man. I was scared of one silly. And the Philadelphia Eagles defend their home turf with a win. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you what listen to MVP. Time? I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Hey, man, he's going to get him now. He's going to get Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.